All right, everybody, welcome back. This is the second part of the file R1. And basically, I've just gotten done fighting uh, the uh, robot dog. I think his name was LQ84I. We just got done putting the smack down on him. So we're moving on in a little bit further into the game. And we're going to basically be going after the real boss, which is um, uh, Mistral, who very interesting character she is. Probably one of my favorite bosses out of all of this. And it just looked like I just reached into his crotch area and pulled out his spine. Uh, I just gotta say, that just was pretty fucking awesome. Alright, got helicopters closed in on us, so we got a little running to do. Come on, gotta go, gotta go! I love how Raiden is just not even giving a damn, I and mean, he's running like a leaf ninja in his prime. And let's go ahead and whip out our uh, surface to air homing missile, because I got a feeling we're gonna be needing this on this guy. I mean, helicopters aren't really that big of a deal in this game, but they can be troublesome if you allow them to be. Oh, he got away from me. Well, let's fix that. And he is no more! I'll take it. So let's move on to this next area and see what we can get out of this one. There's a hostage up here, but I've never ever been quite incredibly sure how you go about taking this guy out. Uh, or rather not taking him out, but you know, basically setting him free. I guess what I could do, and I've never really thought about this before, but I guess I could use some electromagnetic grenades. I think we're actually going to try that out, see what happens. Gotta be pretty stupid to try and hide here. Looks to me like Russian spies. Hey, we are just. He got me. I think we got two of these guys here. Alright, got this guy. And we got that out of here. So let's see, is this guy still... Is he still alive, or was I not supposed to save him? Or oh, oh, there it is. This led me to it. I was getting a little concerned. I was like, did I break the game? Was I not supposed to save this gentleman? It's actually the first time, like I said earlier, it's the first time I've actually never been able to save that guy. I never, for some reason, it never occurred to me to use my uh, electromagnetic grenades because 
Well, I just never think about shit like that. Like I said, I'm more of the uh, the hack and slash guy, you know. So that's where they're holed up. Some kind of electronic lock on the gate. Most likely, it opens only if you have the right ID data stored in your left hand. Perhaps you could find a cyborg with access and uh, borrow it. You see any cyborgs around here, Doc? Why not double back? Check the vehicle route again. You know, back at the entrance to the old city. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you can hitch a ride. Most likely, platoon commanders carry correct ID data for the gate. Use enhanced mode to figure out who to hit. Okay, this is gonna be fun. There's... Oh, there's the guy we want to get. These guys see me, so why even bother trying to hide? Let's get out of the way of all that, and let's see. Here's our guy, right? Oh, wait a minute. He's got somebody by him. See, now, this is one of the types of guys who has the, uh... He has the, uh, chip in his left arm, so... We kind of want to run into him and... And get that from him. There we go, and we got it. Bravo! Excellent work. So let's go and run back. Take this uh, information back to that little computer terminal over there, and we should we should be able to get something going. Actually, I want to run up here real quick because I've never really just explored this area. I want to see if there's any uh, goodies up here I've missed, and apparently I've missed. All manner of things. I'll take it. You know, one thing I must say, it seems like... Seems like the outcome of this fight is the same no matter which route you choose because even when I cut through the door, they immediately come out. And I don't know, if maybe it was just a human error on my part, but... But who knows? Oh, what? Well. Actually, that was some really awesome straight-up Power Rangers type shit. I mean, I'm just saying, but there you go. Didn't realize that was an alternate way to get up there. That's pretty awesome. Let's see, let's get that BP up, because, I mean, it is kind of the lifeblood of your playthrough. I mean, this is what's going to get you all the uh, the good upgrades and, and uh, extra weapons and whatnot. Huh. And there is the lovely Mistral. Oh, not that guy. That's Dulcev. Put the camera back on the girl. 
There you go. That guy seems a little high strung. He might want to switch to decaf. <laughs> always, I, I always thought that was kind of funny, the fact that, like, she knew he was there the whole time. <laughs> and then she's gone. Yeah, I just dodged a bullet. All right, I'm heading for the refinery. So, one thing I must say, and I don't know why this never really gets used a whole lot, but I actually like the fact that, I mean, Raiden has those, uh, those cybernetic claws on his hands, and it's like, I've always wondered, why doesn't he just use those sometimes? I mean, I know he does it for when he, um, when he's picking up the, the uh, electrolytes when he reaches into the body, but, oh, no, I don't want you to see me just yet. Oh, well. Let's get that. And we're going to go ahead and get that, too. I want to check to make sure I'm not off in these guys who have special left arms, which doesn't seem to be the case. Didn't expect to see him so quick. Come on, come and get some. Oh. Let's get some health back from this guy. And I really just want to jack this guy up. There we go. That's where we need to be. I don't really like Metal Gears at all, especially the Metal Gear Rays. They're my they're my least favorite Metal Gear, really. I mean, they they are the more terrifying. The more I played this game, the more I'm just like, I really do not like the Metal Gears. <laughs> It's one thing to face them with Metal Gear, with yeah, you know, with the Metal Gear Solid classic character, Solid Snake, but in this game, you have to be a lot more careful about how you throw yourself at him, which is weird considering that you would think that would be more the case in the game that relied more on stealth. But... Oh wow. There's that guy gone, and let's... Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, I hate that. There we go. Oh, man, these guys are... Oh. That's one thing. I, w I won't blame this one exactly on the camera angles, but I do hate that sometimes you can... It's not, not really hard to lose track of the camera. And let's see, what's over here? We want to get some of these goodies. There we go. We intercepted call for backup during your last fight. The caller's position is on your soliton radar. You can engage if you wish. It is your... Up above you! Yeah, we're going to go ahead and engage.
Let's get our homing missiles out. Oh, that's one down. Let's get back over by him. We want to go and get this guy out of here because I hate helicopters. Come on, get back here. Don't be shy. Come on. Oh, okay, well, they'll actually let me get this done this time. Ah, oh, come on, really? There we go. Sometimes the game is really funny about when it actually wants to let me do the button prompts. It's like you put them on the screen, but you should probably just let me do it. Let's take care of that. Even at the end of all that, I still get an A rank, so I'm not incredibly mad about it. So let's go inside this facility. We're gonna we're gonna try and just run roughshod all over these um, all over these guys because at this particular point. We're gonna have to worry about a new type of enemy that's about to appear, and not even really a tough one, just an annoying at all. No, it was only built two years ago. There should be a narrow path around there that leads to the plant. It is protected by a fence, but probably you can cut your way through. Probably. Don't get cocky. Most likely it is Desperado running security down there. Uh, most likely. Uh, how about most definitely? Let me... And this is where we come across the new enemy type. Nothing really even all that menacing, it's just... It's an annoying enemy. It can become annoying if you let it get out of hand. Keep on coming. Get off. see if we can get up here to... There we go. What's in here? There we are. Fan, uh... Don't ventilation areas. And here, we got cameras, but cameras don't really make much of a difference because we can always do this without being very, um, you know, I guess loud to the point of alerting. And that's also another way to get rid of the cameras. You can sometimes just cut the columns. There are active IR sensors in the area. Part of factory security, no doubt, but the enemy may be using it.
Oh, I got caught slipping. There we go. Let's get through this. Move on to the next area. Shit. Probably my least favorite part of this particular section is the fact that we do have these cameras that that we do have to contend with. But I mean, they're easily avoided. It's just it's more a matter of how you want to tackle this mission. I think we're gonna try. Ah, that didn't go quite as smoothly as I would have hoped. We're just gonna be at some slicing and dicing fools here. Oh, that was intense. Let's get out of harm's way and Move on to the next area before we cause any more chaos than what we already have. And I want to say, yeah, this is it. This is actually where we're about to face the, uh, the big boss lady of this level. And it's going to be pretty fun because she is going to give us a really awesome weapon that is just really going to change the way you play this game. I was wondering when you'd come, Jack the Ripper. No one calls me that anymore. Dolsayev, where is he? Now you're starting to try and sound too much like Snake. Let's I cut that out. A better time than that crusty old bear. You're in charge here. I am Mistral, the cold wind of France. And you, your reputation precedes you, Liberian. But white as snow. A natural born killer, even as a child. That was a long time ago. I was born in Algeria myself, you know? I'm only half French. And? We had our <laughs> own civil war in the 90s. So you see? Cut from the same cloth, you and I. You don't know me. I lost my whole family. Everything. I love how there's moments in this game where Raiden acts very cold and distant towards characters, whether they be friend or foe, and they all they have to do is say one thing, usually not even anything that significant, and it'll make him reflect and realize he's a douchebag. I slaughtered. Or that maybe he's just not as noble as he thinks he is. I've always found that rather hilarious about this game. What happened, happened. To be honest, I found it quite dull. My enemies fell like domino, one after another. Not once did I feel threatened. I was adrift, without challenge, without purpose. At times, I even envied my prey. At least they had a cause to die for. And then, I met him. Who? <laughs> And I knew what I had been missing. His ideals gave my life meaning. 
ideals, Jack. What are yours? I protect the weak. And he doesn't really seem to be all that convinced that he does even that. <laughs> Still? So naive. And if I must kill to protect them, then so be it. Hmm. It seems we have less in common than I thought. I'll take that as a compliment. If you would kill for your ideals, then surely you are ready to die for them. Right. Now, as she gets gang banged by robots by with three arms, I don't know, this is weird, but you know, hey, whatever. She probably one of the more interesting characters in the entire game. take away her bow staff from her because that's a dangerous little toy she's got there. Oh, taking licks. I am stopping to enjoy. This is actually one of those boss fights I kind of wish they would have saved until the end because. None of the other boss fights really match up to it in my eyes, as far as like in like in scope, as far as you know how how they play out. Like this one just kind of takes you all over the place. Well. Oh, she wasn't put, she, she wasn't going for that one. Let's go ahead and get this woman out of here and put her to bed. Uh oh, she's getting T1000. And Mistral has been defeated. Mistral, report! Your 
vitals are dropping. I lost. So this is how they felt. What? Dying. For our cause. Great. No. Hold on. I am sorry. He was too much. I do not need apology. I literally, that's what she said. Not sure what she said, but I'm pretty sure it meant something. You never. She's not talking to you, idiot. You. You killed her. You try your nuts. Murder her. Probably one of the most normal characters in the game. One of the most unstable characters in the game. <laughs> Translation. <laughs> Why would I surrender? We are exactly where I want. Shit. Built with Russian money to make Russia money. It is no plan for Abkhaz. It is their prison. <gasps> but now they will be free. Yeah, I'm sure that didn't feel too terribly good. Raiders? Raiders, what happened? Bastard blew himself up. I think. Time to get you out of there. We're sending a helicopter. Secure an LZ. Understood. Well, that pretty much got us through the rest of the mission. That was the end of the second part of Mission R1. So, that is done. Did a pretty good job on that one. Got a, got a pretty decent score of it and some pretty good BP out of it. So, that pretty much is a wrap for this particular uh, mission. We're going to try and get the uh, next mission, Mission R2, uploaded to you pretty soon. So, stay tuned for that. And also, if you haven't already done so, uh, go ahead and swing by the uh, the Facebook page. Tickle that like button. And, and uh, that way, you know, you get to stay up to speed with when I drop all this new content on you. And also, uh, take a look at uh, the rest of the YouTube page. I got some pretty good stuff up there for you. And we're going to be bringing a lot more to you. So, thank you guys for watching and good night. <laughs>